Hi and welcome to another Trains tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to uh, understand Trains content or content manager a little better when you've got uh, some missing dependencies and how to actually fix some of those up. Uh, we'll get started by opening up the launcher which is already here and we'll go to manage content. Now I've got a uh, session installed that I'm going to use as an example here. Uh, session here which has uh, some it says it's got some missing dependencies in here so what we want to do is if you've got any asset this doesn't just go for missing dependencies what you can do is you can right click on the asset and you can go uh, list dependencies or list dependencies recursively uh, list dependencies will just show uh, the assets that this particular item depends on list dependencies recursively will show you uh, the dependencies that this asset uh, relies on and also the dependencies that those assets rely on. So let's go list dependence recursively but uh, it will click that one. So under this you can see that uh, there's a lot of assets that this session relies on. Got a few here that are open for edit so we might just revert those ones back. Revert if unchanged and if that doesn't work you can revert unsubmitted edits and that will revert those ones back to being either whatever other status they are when they're not open that one's built in and the rest of them are built in as well so that's fine so up here is the example I was going to show you this asset is missing dependencies because what it's telling you and you can fill you can click on status to filter on these things uh, it's telling me there's two missing assets that are unknown and it has no clue where they are locally or online because this looks at the DLS and then it's found four assets that it does know about and these are actually on the download station or DLS. So what we can do with those ones is we can click on them, right click, click on download and it will happily go ahead provided you have a MyTrains account entered and it will go and download those and install them while you do other things. So while that's happening, I know I've got these two assets uh, just in on my desktop here. Uh, the, the trains game doesn't know about them, but I know where they are. If you've got something like this, uh, you can see those disappearing because they're actually being installed. If you've got something like this where, oh, sorry, that's done, good, great. If you've got something like this where you've got your assets uh, where trains doesn't know about them, uh, hopefully you do otherwise trains isn't going to be able to tell you where they are so you need to either find the uh, third-party site you might have installed the uh, in this case session from uh, find the content creator that has the has given you the session or you've got the session from you need to go and ask them for these assets because they're not on the download station or they're not built into this version of trains uh, so that's the only way you're going to be able to get your missing content to show up for for your item. Uh, now what I've done, let's just pretend I've gone and asked the content creator. I have found these two assets which I believe are 64 and 65, 65, 64 and I will drop those into trains. Should happily install them and then those two should go away. They're rather big and once it's done that you'll see that uh, my session will no longer be missing any dependencies so if you've got if you've got something like this where it's saying missing dependencies then you're gonna have to find all the dependencies by clicking right click and list dependencies or list dependencies recursively and finding those assets either downloading from the DLS or installing them yourself so that's it. That's got nothing uh, open for edit or missing or uh, faulty. So we jump back in here and we can see that that particular session now hasn't got missing dependencies and uh, all is right within trains for that asset. So I guess if you were to now want to, if you want to actually uh, distribute your uh, assets or content to other people, 
because you know you've made your content and you've made a session or you've made a loco and you want to give that to someone else uh, what you need to do is the same method you would right click uh, list dependents recursively and under this window you'll find the status of all the content and the things that you want is anything that is marked as modified because provided the person you're giving it to has the same version of trains as you they're going to have the same base content which is marked with base they're going to have the same built-in content obviously marked with built-in they're going to be able to get anything from the DLS because anyone with a MyTrains account can access a DLS so you don't need to export the anything with the DLS and you can't export anything marked as payware because the person on the other end can't install it so if anything's mar marked as payware which obviously if you've made your own content uh, it won't be unless you've given it to us and we've packaged it up somehow but you will still have the source so you, you shouldn't have anything that you're giving out marked as payware so you won't have to worry about that but anything here that's marked as modified and we can select all that and we can right click and list in a new as uh, a new window list asset in a new window and that just shows us anything that's modified because we selected it anything that's modified that's what you want to be selecting going open for edit and it'll have a bit of a think while it opens all those up and then once they're all open for edit and it's finished doing its processing these are uh, all the assets that you'll want to uh, give to whoever you want to distribute your in this case session to because they're the assets that they will not be able to find unless you give them them. Uh, another way of doing this also is to right click and go export to CDP and that will just create uh, one CDP file for you to um, send to a friend so right now I'm opening all the assets for edit uh, and I guess you can do it this way and zip them up but it's probably a little bit cleaner if you just right click and go export uh, CDP so I hope that helps people when they're trying to get uh, their content to other people or if you're trying to get content from other people uh, you should be able to understand that through this tutorial it should give you a bit of an understanding of uh, what's needed to get the content working in trains so if there's any other questions about uh, missing dependencies or trying to uh, move your content from one machine to the other to another uh, please drop some questions on the forums and we'll be happy to answer them thank you